So, I'm Pat Gunn, and this is a Let's Play of Skyrim. I, since the uh, the end of the last uh, episode, I have uh, enchanted a bit more of the junk that I've picked up and sold it, and I was just met by this courier and given a bunch of letters. So, let's see what we got. I think there's that, but um, oh yeah. So I should mention that since uh, I, I very recently got um, got uh, uh, the um, I very uh, very recently. <clears throat> One sec. So this is the result of a uh, new DL uh, DLC that I recently got called uh, Hearthfire. And I actually won it through a raffle that was held by the uh, unofficial Elder Scrolls Pages wiki, um, which is at uesp.net, which is one of the two wikis that you're probably going to find really useful uh, for Skyrim and for some of the earlier games. Uh, but yet, yeah, uh, the person who runs it, who goes by, uh, who, uh, who goes by the name of Dave, uh, he ran a raffle, I entered, and I won uh, this, uh, I won that uh, DLC through it, so props to him for running a, uh, a neat raffle. But yeah, this is the result of that. That was from... See what what other uh, things I have that might start quests. Aha! Interesting. So this does uh, refer to the ability to adopt, which is relatively um, uh, that is something that's that's added by the new uh, DLC. So Falkreath, uh, so what this new DLC allows is it lets you build your own house. And uh, I'm actually going to go and do that. Let's see, I think there may have been three things that were given to me to read, possibly. Maybe not. Sorry. No. But I will drop this because it was stolen. So, the other things we're, we have to do is we're going to deliver the, the message from the Empire to the uh, Jarl up here. We really uh, have been putting off on advancing in the war quest line for a while. But we have bitten off a number of uh, quests at the same time. And apart from the, uh, the College of Winterhold quests, which we've uh, wrapped up, there's uh, hard to really uh, push your way through these uh, quests very quickly. Mm. 
Now, I don't actually know how the um, how the Hearthfire extension works. I haven't yet done anything with it because I just got it. So hopefully that won't be too much of a, ne uh, of a negative. I should also mention that my conjuration skill is at 73. And I've looked it up, and at level uh, 75, that's when uh, that's when I can actually get both Dramora Lords and Storm Atronox uh, to aid me. So, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely want to pay attention to when I uh, make it over that uh, over that lower level. I guess level cap is the wrong word. When I qualify for those spells, anyhow. Let's head on up here and talk to the Jarl. What hey, dude. No doubt request. Well, out with it. I see. Give the pay. Just give me the. Mm. These are interesting reports. What a curious city. It's so open. Yeah, they probably don't have to deal with vampires too much. As in all things, Lord, caution. I urge us to wait and see. So while these guys are talking, I'm going to head off and see if there's anything. Uh, th there was that spell that was added, or that, um, that guy who sells spells that, that was added by the um, DLC. Aha, uh -huh, this is him. So... Oh, well that's interesting. Maybe I am qualified to buy these spells now. And, uh... Okay, so this spell is totally unbalanced, but it also is a lot of fun. So I, uh... I hope that you will forgive my making a lot of use uh, of it in some parts of the game. But it's just too uh, too fun to pass up on. Okay, so let's learn these spells. Okay, there's that. Grimoire Lord and Storm Atronach. Those are fun spells. And... Uh, so I don't actually use Flame Atronox once I can manage Storm Atronox, and Remora Lord, they are just a lot of fun for raw uh, melee killing power. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius's request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. But Laventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side okay, with Okay, guys. Him. Politics, politics. And what harm is there in letting a few legionnaires die in place of your own men? This is a big sword. It seems cowardly. Was it cowardly then to accept the white kind of wonder if a sword that big really would be practical f uh, for someone to wield. That was different. Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. The Jarls weren't asked. Oh, and the sword actually goes through his... Had to like it. Uh, through his uh, cloak a little bit. Damn it. This isn't about cold. It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. Yeah, with the sword that big, if it is heavy enough, then it's going to be hard to swing. And if it's not heavy enough, then it's not going to really make it through an enemy's flesh. Unless it's very sharp. Good. Good. What prevent us? Bring me my pen and the good parchment. Now we oh, don't mind. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So here we have gotten the symbolic axe.
X to um, present to Ulfric. Not sure if we, if we have anything else that we need to do in the area. So I might head down to Falkreath uh, ju uh, just to check out that um, that build your own house option that was added by the DLC. Because I confess to great curiosity as to how it works. Now it's possible that my character might need to get married in order to take full uh, advantage of it. And I've never had a character get married before. But... I'm certainly open to that. Let's see. Is there anything else to do in the city? Well... Yeah, I guess there is. So some, uh, sometime way, way back, I was asked to find evidence that this guy was uh, kidnapped. So I'm going to sneak into this house and see see what I can find with the hang with the help of my magic quest compass. Of course. And I think it might be a good idea to be invisible for this. It's not in here. Master door. Wow. Impressive. So I think master is the top rating for, uh, for locks and for spells. Okay, so that wasn't far enough. See, just at the edge of this white thing. Yeah, definitely not far enough. Let's try the middle of the this white thing. No, let's try the end of this white thing. No, the end is too far. Middle, yeah, we need a little bit more than that visible. Okay, looking good. And here, is a book uh, that gives me the evidence I need to prove that that guy was kidnapped by the Thalmor. Looks like there's nobody around to bother me at this, uh, this time of day. So I will slip out. And deliver the message to the Grey Mains, who are the people who uh, whose family member was kidnapped. Okay, and I need to talk to somebody who is asleep. Attitude. Do you have? I knew it. The Thalmor. So North Watch Keep. I'll do anything if Thorald can't be left to those. Monsters. Are you sure? I can have a group of men ready at a moment's notice. Many would be willing. Very well. I'll give you a chance. But if you can't do it, I will. Yeah, so I would prefer not to have a whole bunch of other people uh, uh, die with this. Since at this point, if I am very careful, I can take out a whole fort of Thalmor on my own. Let's uh, let's head down to the Earl of Falkreath, who we we haven't been to Val, uh, to Falkreath, uh, Falkreath yet. It's just not one of those cities that's particularly useful. But with um, with this new DLC, which is actually a little bit older than Dawnguard. Um, we should be given the option to build our own house, and I'm really pretty curious how that works. 
So I'm wondering if these cutscenes are actually regionally uh, dependent, since the, this is right by where the Assassin's Guild was before I um, uh, killed them all. And so it seems it, it would be a, a bit unusual for this to just suddenly show up now. would be somewhat weird for it to be a coincidence, although it could be. Sometimes the dice are, are a little bit goofy. Okay, so the town is just a little bit east, it looks like. So I will hopefully be able to make it up to the road. Yeah, looking pretty good. And actually, I am... I'd like to see... I'd, I'd just like to make sure that I actually can cast this spell. Yeah. Or no? Okay, yeah, this is a Dramora Lord. And yeah, powerful swordsman, fantastically useful summon, because they can uh, really do quite a lot of damage. Now, if I can continue and actually get my uh, summoning up to level 100, that would be even better because that lets you take a perk that uh, where wherein you can control two summons at a time. Where is... Okay, so I don't know the layout of the, of the town really well. Okay, I want to turn left and go straight. So this town has tons and tons of uh, of tombs in it. I, I think it's actually known for uh, its graves. Do be careful with that spell, will you? There's nothing more I can teach you. Oh, merciful Arcade. Ghost is my assistant. He helps me tend the hip. I am. Uh, I came into our... I'm fortunate that Koost... Could you do an old elf a favor? I misplaced the blessing of our Katie you and your help. Okay, well, another uh, quest to find this guy's journal. Find by me. Oh, was that actually what I was trying to do? No. The Jarl is to the right, somewhere maybe in this nice looking home. No, that is somebody named Lod. Is this... Yeah, Jarl's Longhouse. That is probably where I want to be. And if I remember the quest right, I am supposed to talk to the steward here. Oh, but people might be asleep. So, oh yeah, it's, it is kind of early. I'm surprised that maybe, uh, whoa. Oh, that was, um, I'm the steward here. Oh, great. Sid Gear can sometimes act too quickly, but he does listen to many bad in time. Valkreath's reputation has, it was Den, when Den Gear, Sid Gear has no interest in running. The Jarl has put out a bounty on the dragon that's been terrorizing the countryside. Here, take a look at this decree yes, for details. Yes, what it... Ah, it's you. Yes, well, now we'll see if this... There's a group of bandits in my hold that I... may have... The cut they were giving me was good at first. Good. Difficult. I'm a Jarl. Meanwhile, my very... Being a Jarl could hardly be simpler. You should try it sometime. Execute every bandit. Spare no one. What the rebels like to forget is that the Empire is what's keeping the Dominion out of Skyrim. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we have two quests to take care of here. Killing a dragon and taking care of some bandits. So, let's take care of both of those things and see if that gives us the ability to buy uh, buy the property on which I can build uh, that house. So, Ember Shard and Ancient Ascent. Ancient Ascent is to the right. Ember Shard is uh, northeast. Okay, well let's take care of the dragon first, which is due east. Guess I'd somehow have to make my way up there. Is this a path? 
Uh, no, it doesn't really look like much of a path if it is one. So. Did you see a dog out there? Uh, no. Oh, well. I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I can talk to this this dude about a dog really quickly. Uh, uh, it's just a little bit to the left and a good ways forward. Yeah. Because that might be an easy enough quest. Hello, dude. Did you see a hound on the road? There's one out on the If you are willing to retrieve him, one in. Good. There's some gold in it for you if you succeed. Here's the meat. Check the road just outside the town. Okay. So, let's keep on moving. Go cost your fancy night someplace else. And where I'm going is. Yeah, just about straightforward given where I'm pointed right now. I really like this uh, this weather effect. They've they did a good job at making it really sound and look like it's uh, it's storming. Well, this might be a detour. Here, but that is okay by me. Oh, that that's not a good sign. Okay, so there's that. And I just want to be heading straight east from here. East, south, east. Should be this way. Yeah, that sounds like my uh, Dramora Lord is having a good time with with a friend. So yeah, you, you basically you can either cast those and fight alongside them, or you can just cast them and let them keep your enemies busy while you uh, while you make your escape. And I have done both many times. Okay, so. How are we doing? Just about straightforward, and there should be like a dragon marker. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, sweet. A regular path to do this, this jog. Well, it does seem like it's getting pretty steep up ahead, but I guess we do need to achieve significantly more height. So we might as well follow the road for now. Ah, yeah, it's, it's crossing back. Good. Yeah, beautiful view. Oh, is this? No. For a second I thought that was a chest. I'm a little bit impressed that, that people could regularly uh, climb this. I think that's what those ribbons tied around the rocks mean that at some point this uh, this was a regular way for people to uh, get, get around. And I imagine somewhere far behind me is Serana. What is that? Well, there is a house somewhere up uh, ahead. A house that we're probably not going to visit, but let's see if it's just a quick detour. Yeah, that would mean getting back off this path. Maybe on the way down. Not super likely, though. Pretty happy that I was able to get the, uh, these conjuration spells a little bit earlier than I uh, thought I'd be able to. 
Okay, and the dragon is should be just ahead, probably up this hill. There are all sorts of useful map markers around. And this is looking interesting. Okay, and the dragon should just be right ahead somewhere. Let's get into sneak mode. Okay, that definitely looks like my dragon. So I'm going to see what I can do with a dragon bone bow and uh, maybe an ebony arrow. If I can manage to do a lot of damage before I have to do... Okay, that, that was pretty good. So maybe like a fifth of his health taken out in one go. And this is what a Storm Atronach is like. They're really fun. Okay, and I'm gonna see... Dragon Bane Bow. Still haven't figured out a way to get rid of Draven's Bow. Um, it's a quest item, but I don't know what the quest is. Yeah, Ancient Dragons, they're pretty tough little critters. Well, okay. Uh, he's taken appreciable damage, not quite enough to ground him. That might have been enough to ground him. And there he goes. Sweet. So, not too bad. Not shabby at all. And I get some of my arrows back. Cool. So, I'm going to wait until I absorb his soul. And then I will go and uh, take care of that other quest. And let's see. Yeah, there is a ward wall waiting for me. So let us drop down there, and I will see what the word on the street is. Well, the word on the wall. Uh, but there's also a free chest. Um, not gonna bother with that. Not that necessary. Okay, so that is one of the goofier shouts, it causes nearby animals to be uh, friendly to you and to fight for you. Kind of fun, not really all that useful. Oh, and there's also a shout that I should be... This is a shout that I, I should be practicing to summon Dunafir, who was the dragon that we uh, that we met in the Soul Cairn, and uh, if you summon him enough with it, he'll teach you uh, an extra shout, if I remember right. And I'm dropping down here because there's a cave down here that I can put on my map. Not sure what this cave is for, but. Bone Chill Passage. This might just be one of those caves that takes you from one side of a mountain to another. Okay, so at this point I'm just going to head to the Guardian Stones and then head east to take care of the bandits. Basically, the, the further you, you get along with uh, learning places on the map, the less necessary it is to learn everything. You, you basically can get anywhere you need to go if you just have a decent smattering of fast travel points uh, in any given area. I'm getting a little bit tired of seeing this hammer. Let's 
not all that interesting as a hammer apart from its uh, it being in sleep mode and even then that gets a little bit old after a time Yeah, so the eating the ingredient to slightly raise the alchemy skill, that effect is so negligible that it's hardly worth talking about. Okay, so I just want to head a little bit east, I guess. Yeah. Apparently there's a mining camp somewhere around here. Ember Shard Mine. Yep. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Oh, okay. Yeah, so if you just summon him again, he'll teach you the second word. But you do have to wait until your shout cooldown uh, cool is done. And I do have a certain fondness for dragons. Uh, I imagine probably everyone does. Mine might be a little bit bigger than most because I used to have uh, pet iguanas. And uh, they really are delightful little beasts. Well, they're not that great of a pet. They're fun to look at, though. But the problem is that they are not sanitary animals by any uh, means. I wonder if I could just shout it. Well, there's a trap of some kind. Um, okay, I'll keep Dramor uh, Lord in my right hand. And... Oh, yeah. I guess Serana is just powerful enough that it almost doesn't matter at this point for these easy fights. But I was hoping to be able to show you my Dramora uh, Lord cutting, cutting stuff up. Yeah, just his sword is does a lot of damage and it sets your opponents on fire. Unfortunately, once they've done their initial blow, it takes them a little bit of time to uh, get ready to do another one. Sweet. Another level. And I'm doing okay with Magicka right now, so... Oh, but there's the problem that I... So, as a vampire, I lose some Magicka uh, when I'm outside. Okay, can't quite manage that yet. And Twin Souls is the really fun perk. Now, being able to summon... Uh, Atronox a little bit further away, that is very nice. But I'm curious whether I can do uh, restoration. Now that requires restoration 70. Can I take the perk that causes my Magicka regeneration to go faster? Not quite. Okay, so what can I do? Can't improve blocking. I could take the quicker reflexes. Ah, yes, this is a great perk. Because while my shield is up, I take less elemental damage, and that is very, very often useful. Oh, well, that was 
unexpectedly you see Serana has risen this bandit from the dead. Pretty handy. Um, did I actually kill the leader here yet? No, not yet. Where am I? So he's straight ahead and a little bit to the right. Works for me. Should be fun. Yeah, so the Dramora Lords, they really are practically a one man army. And so we're actually done with this quest already because I was able to summon him right onto the bridge by the uh, By the leader here. So it should be enough. And so if you use if you use your Dramore Lords right then then you shouldn't really face uh, much in the way of problems uh, unless you're doing really incredibly tough fights. Now there is uh, another quest which uh, which is pretty useful for people who like to summon, uh, which we could do in the College of Winterhold when we get around to it. And it gives you the ability to summon, um, I don't want to spoil it too much, but to summon a creature that cannot actually be harmed and that fires lightning at your foes. I wonder if I've done enough to be able to to build the house. I suppose the spikes on, on that armor, if they are reasonably secured, they could absorb some slashing type weapons. I mean, uh, slashing type blows. Probably wouldn't be too good uh, for for bludgeoning. I'm not actually sure. They might actually be worse than if they weren't there for bludgeoning weapons. Because if you hit uh, hit the spike, then the spike might kind of go into the skin. But on the other hand, it would be going uh, would be pressing in at an angle, so maybe it would be less likely to pierce the skin. It's hard to say. Or, well, at least I don't know enough to say. Maybe it's actually easy to say for people who have studied these things. grant you permission to purchase property in Falkry. Excellent. You've done us a great service. There is room in my... However, you help my people. On your way, then. Huh. 
Okay. Come and see me again sometime. So I am now apparently allowed to buy property, but I'm not sure if that counts for buying. Um, if that counts for buying. On this, your skins. There's no house available, but I could sell you a fine piece of land where you could build your own house. You won't regret it. Here's the title to your steading. Okay. Follow the road east from Fall Creek, then north at the crossroads. Turn left just past Pine Watch. So I'm intrigued. Let's go see what I need to do to make this work. So, visit my new property, Lakeview Manor. Is that closer to... Well, I'm going to head there from the Guardian Stones. And just to remind you, the Guardian Stones are near uh, the city that was destroyed by Alduin at the beginning of the game. So I am heading pretty much straight ahead from here. Oh, I well, wonder who these guys are. Are you guys friendly or unfriendly? I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Oh, reasonably friendly, I guess. And I think that is probably it up ahead on my compass. I'm hearing some unfriendly sounding critters. Let's call forth a Dramor Lord to see if he wants to sort any of that stuff out. Yeah, that definitely sounds like uh, wolves. Oh. Okay. Is this my house? I'm not sure what that did. Let's get indoors or in a cave, anywhere, just out of this. Oh, it's this. I guess. Well, what did this do? Okay, I have ropes marking off my house. Ropes that I can walk through. So not really ropes. I have a chest with a lot of stuff in it. Uh, how do I do this? Um, carpenter's workbench, house. Okay. Um, aha, a book on making a house. Okay, so apparently I need to gather building materials. In order to do this, I need to be a blacksmith. Huh. 
Okay, this looks interestingly complex. Uh, maybe the house can get quite big. Um, okay, I wonder what I need to, to get to make all this stuff work. An anvil. Oh, building materials. That sounds good. I guess I need... Okay, well, nails sound sensible. Maybe I need some hinges. Um, I'm not sure what this is good for. But I guess I'm going to need to keep on collecting iron for this kind of thing. Now, are there... No, okay. Well, that sounds reasonable. And now what do I need to do? A wall framing and walls. What? 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 Wait, wait, wait. Wow, a thug. Great. Okay, that is annoying. Oh, well, let's use Unrelent. Take that, dude. Schmuck. Actually, he did some pretty good damage to me. Um, okay, I still have the Dramora Lord taking care of business over there. So let's summon a sword and get out my shield. Gotcha, dude. And what is going on? Oh, this is for stealing something in Mark Hearth. Okay, well. Sorry, dude, but you lost out here. And I don't actually want to keep on looting you. Okay, so it looks like I've actually built uh, a bit of house here. Uh, it's not a very nice house at the moment, but it's something. Uh, it has a certain lack of something. So I think this is a floor. I don't have a roof. Well, I should see what I need to do to make a roof. Oh, no, I, have I not done a floor yet? Okay, and I need more nails. Okay, so I guess I need a lot more iron. Oh, but I have a roof framing. Okay, we're, we're making progress. Um, I guess I should put my building materials back in here for now. Um, actually, I'm not doing too bad on, on weight of stuff here. This is fun. Let's head back to uh, home Although I suspect the longer I do this, oh, well, I guess I have a little bit of stuff to wrap up with Thieves Guild, but I'll head back over there and actually continue building my house. I guess I'm not quite ready to move stuff yet. Head down here and
sure, we can talk. So I My sister in crime. What do you need? Okay, so maybe the I think I had to deliver one of these Felmerais to somebody. your hands on it. This alone is worth more than some thieves earn in a lifetime. Okay, so... Where are you up to? There's work to be done. Um, right now I'm not super... Need some gold. What are these things? Oh. I have some work for you. Like your, of course, your new piece will enhance your skill. Oh yeah, so Trust me. was there anything else that we had to do in here? I guess not. All right, then. Okay, so I'm gonna head back out and get back to improving my house. But I believe that I'll have to do that in the in the next episode. But I am going to show you all of the uh, little details of this because uh, you might not have seen it. And there's also something potentially neat in seeing somebody do their first uh, run through of something. So, I'm Pat Gunn, and this has been a playthrough of, uh, of Skyrim. And I'll see you in the next episode.